Are you a manual timeline purist or do you lean towards letting an external tool handle the heavy lifting for your video content? I've been constantly flip-flopping between painstaking manual edits and embracing AI-assisted power. And today I want to honestly walk you through the entire case for using an external editor. We'll cover three major benefits, three critical drawbacks to consider, three real-world setups I use with an external editor, and then the exact post workflow to make those clips polished. So first up, why should you even consider adding an external editor into your already busy content creation process? The most obvious reason is gaining access to smarter automation that fundamentally changes how you interact with your footage. Old-school editing forces you to manually scrub through hours of raw video, desperately hunting for those few moments that truly pop. Conversely, an external tool can scan the entire long-form video, automatically spot those viral-worthy beats, and hand you a stack of ready-to-post clips. This automation doesn't mean you completely surrender your creative control, it simply means you get an expertly curated first pass so you don't waste hours just staring at the timeline. The second benefit is the potential for a significantly better quality output, delivered to you much faster than before. Because a clip's true vibe isn't just about the perfect frame, it's about the precise timing, the pacing, the captions, and the overall context. Even if you can do all that manually in your primary NLE, it's incredibly easy to become inconsistent when you're batch creating dozens of clips in a single session. External editors thrive by standardizing the entire process, consistent caption styles, platform optimized lengths for every format, and ready to use templates for graphics. The end result frequently looks more professional and polished than a rushed manual batch edit, which is huge when you're juggling multiple videos weekly. The third crucial advantage is reliability and the ability to scale your content production significantly without burnout. If you're constantly producing lots of content, like long podcasts or many live stream highlights, a dependable external pipeline ensures you never miss a critical posting window. Manual editing remains superb for those one-off long-form hero pieces, but it crumbles when you need a steady output of clips across TikTok, Instagram and YouTube shorts. An automated system paired with scheduling gives you vital redundancy, essentially acting like having a second, tireless editor who never sleeps when your main system is down. Okay, now we have to flip the coin and talk about the honest reasons you might decide to stick with your fully manual editing routine. The first barrier is often simple cost, because basic in-app or on-camera editing can be virtually free using tools already on your phone. While external tools are incredibly powerful, they inevitably come with monthly or annual subscription fees that can be a big deal for small creators or hobbyists. The second drawback is usability and the tactile control that many seasoned editors simply can't give up. If you deeply value the feel of fine-tuning every single frame, applying very specific color grades or managing complex audio chains, an automated pass might not match your established aesthetic immediately. You will still need to jump back into your primary NLE to tweak things, especially for those premium high-stakes hero content pieces. Third, introducing an external service inherently adds another distinct step to your overall production workflow that you have to manage. If you are used to recording, uploading one file and hitting export, now you must learn a new tool, manage large uploads and integrate those exports back into your main software. For creators who value absolute speed and simplicity above all else, this extra integration process can definitely feel like unnecessary, time-consuming overhead. All that said, let me now run you through the three specific setups I actually employ when I have an external clip generator like this in my toolkit. My first go-to is the Pro Desktop Studio, perfect for polished talking head videos, tutorials, and narration heavy pieces. I shoot high quality, keep the master on my desktop, and then I feed that master file into the external tool for the initial auto clip generation. Visit provides the batch of pre-cut, captioned, platform-optimized clips, allowing me to pick the best ones and apply final polish in Premiere or Resolve, cutting my clip time by 60%. Setup number two is the Portable Hustle, which I rely on for vlogs, on-the-go field interviews, or when the audio environment is inherently messy. I simply upload the full video straight from my phone, let the tool auto-detect punchy moments, create all the shorts, and then schedule the posts without ever needing to open a desktop editor. The third setup where external tools truly shine is handling long live streams or complex multi-guest interviews with many audio tracks. Manually extracting usable clips from a 90-minute chaotic stream is incredibly tedious, but this tool expertly handles the chunking and speaker separation for me. For the actual post workflow, it starts with capture. Always record that reference audio track on the camera, even if your main audio is separate, using a quick clap as a visual sync cue. Next, review every suggested clip, manually adjust any in or out points, quickly edit the auto-generated captions and finalize your thumbnail choices. Always perform an audio sanity check to ensure the clean track is used, then select your target platforms and let the built-in auto-scheduler manage the entire cross-posting cadence. Finally, treat it like a feedback loop. Use the analytics to see which clips trend, tweak your default style based on the winners, and then rinse and repeat the entire successful process. 
To summarize against the competition, Descript excels at transcript first editing, but struggles with those massive live streams, while NLEs like Premiere demand ultimate control at the cost of manual labor. Visit ultimately sits in a powerful middle ground. It automates discovery and scheduling, while still allowing you the crucial ability to jump in and polish the final product. In short, it's not meant to replace high-end creative editing, but it absolutely acts as a massive force multiplier when your goal is consistent, platform-ready short-form content from long videos. If you're on the fence, I urge you to try it just once on a single long video and personally see how many clips it generates versus how long manual scrubbing would have taken you. If you have specific questions about any of those setups or want me to break down that 90 minute stream to 12 shorts morning, please drop a comment below. And if you have your own genius hacks for clipping long videos that I missed, please share them because I genuinely love stealing the best ideas from the community. Thanks so much for sticking around for this deep dive and I will catch you all in the next video.